Uh, well, of course, I wasn't recording it. Um, that worked. Hi, it's been a while. Have you wanted to build elevators larger than 12 by 12? Well, today we're going to show you how to do this 15 by 15, and I'm going to show you the problem and some workarounds. If you watched my whole 13. diamond video, you may have seen my 12 by 13 you diamond like elevator. You want a diamond elevator? You got a diamond elevator. Very proud of that one. So you know how you can only push 12 blocks? Well, if I were to put a block right here, it would cause it to stop and not be able to go up anymore. That is exactly what my elevators do. The problem is you can push things up like this, but if you were to extend this out further to be 13 blocks, then you've got seven and this is 14, which means that this is not going to work. If I were to do 12, I could extend it out as far as I possibly wanted. And so that's why I was able to do 12 by 13. So you can do 12 by infinity if you have it built right. But in order to stop it along the outside, you're not going to be able to have it be wider than 12 across one direction. Unless you do something like this. Now this might seem a little janky, but you can use fence gates to make it actually look half decent. And so you can do this, or you can use signs. If you put one of these over each of the sections that stop, you could also do it with signs. This would be another way to do it. So let's jump right into it. You're a builder, right? Let's design it. So we just need to put any blocks on it. I tend to do like granite and andesite and stuff, but like I don't have a design plan for this. Mm, can we get some purple in there? Purple terracotta? You do now. Let's see, what's let's a go good there. wood that goes with? Then let's make a little, maybe make a little design here with the purple terracotta. I was kind of seeing like a spiral. You could do like it, this instead and make it off on purpose on each side. And then you get like oh. a spiral. It's like a I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Bright purple doesn't uh, look good. Spruce. Spruce. Put spruce down and then let me see what else we can do here. You can outline it in deep slate again. I'm making these elevators. I'm just kind of winging it here. So. Me too. <laughs> well, this is what I usually do for videos is I usually just wing it on like, okay, we did an elevator. Now let's give it a bottom exactly 12 all the way up well that's means... cool yeah, i think that right. looks pretty cool it does <laughs> the mo real moment of truth is does this actually go up did i count it out to 12 properly and i think i did i think i did <laughs> um i'll need to ensure that i did in fact i don't think i did i think there's individual <clears throat> blocks here that need to be hanging down let's not worry about that yet we'll do that when we get to the top Look at that. Woo! I'm gonna get my face squished. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this with them. We're oh, I just got squished outside of it. It's okay. So what we gotta do is the ones that have four need to have eight, and the ones that have five need to have seven. And so you essentially need to put um, underneath any of these four, it's got five, you're going to go six, seven, eight. Because what's going to happen is I've, then you go I've eight, nine, seven. ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. It needs to have. Oh, because we're seven. counting these. Yes. I see. I yep. see. Sorry. I was like, one, adding one does not. Okay. Why I get what I you're one? saying. Okay. I'm, right, I'm, I'm smelting right. your stuff in here. Okay. okay. So, any so you want these, me to help you with this? If you don't mind, sure. Um, anything that has. um. Four, Anything that has five. four needs to be eight, which means that every single block underneath it needs to be filled in. I might even be able to do it easier from the top here. Okay. I worked very hard to make sure there were no threes or sixes. You can't have a six because they need to have like that one extra block to, piss to, to push up, and six has to have nothing else because it's six and six. So you have you need zero on it, which means you can't even have the one block underneath, which is a nightmare. Yeah, for three you need nine, and um, that's a nightmare. So. And for the four, I'm filling in all of the ones underneath. Correct. Recording Let's this? Let's go. Or... I am recording it. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, right. We can ride it. Oh, and I'm I'm going to go on. Uh, I forgot I had my pre-cam. Here we go. And. Yeah. Please yes, don't yes. fail. Please don't fail. Please stop. Please stop. No. No. <laughs> no. Um, I'll talk time? about the. Yep. Let's go. Obviously, what you'd want to do is put the button up here where you can reach it. Why do I keep falling down into it? There go. No, it's not happening to me. It's just a visual glitch, but... There we go. I think Where'd it's I... because I was on, uh -oh. I was flying. I think. Um... Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> Redstone video, here we come. 
<laughs> it's been a while. There we go. And someone's going to be like, how do you do it multi-floor? <laughs> Shut up. I was going to say the multi-floor is <laughs> the next question. <laughs> that question will remain unanswered. <laughs> There's no way to do it. Uh, no, because how do you get a stopping platform like that? Right. You're saying just different ways. Yeah. Right. So this is how do it answers the question, how do I stop the thing that cannot be stopped? Okay. Yeah, that you pops stop it. it. Yeah. I might what else that. doesn't have a hitbox that could work? <laughs> it's pretty much all the colors of sign and fence gate. That's a big ask to get a piston to not be able to push through something that doesn't have a hitbox. That's a <laughs> these shouldn't exist. It's a weird quirk, and so there's not going to be many other things. I've gone through. I think Let I found a spreadsheet, and I think uh, these are the only two things. I mean, you wouldn't have Looks. to do a full box of signs like this. You could make it look a little nicer. That's true. Process. You just have to run a couple, yeah, strips of it. So here's a neat little setup that Matira put together after the fact. Um, you can see that this is a elevator room that she built out of the signs. She kind of made them subtle based on where she placed them. Um, each of these will cover what they need to. Um, generally speaking, we decided not to go with candles. Now there's an experiment we tried to do where we tried to go and do a number of things, chains and candles and these uh, fence posts, but they run in, you run into a problem with them where if you're lined up with them and you hit them just right, um, you end up bonking your head and getting knocked down through it, and that could cause you to fall to your death, which I don't think you will really want that. So, yeah, probably don't really want to do that. Oh, I wonder if you light that candle. I bet that's what you do. That's incredible. Uh, is it shears? Is that it? It didn't set it off. Oh, it's not hooked up. That's okay. You basically would send a redstone signal to here. If you wanted to do it this way, you could... Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. You can make this a block that gets pushed and pulled so that it's more subtle, so that you can't see in the hallway chamber that goes up and down, but just that should do it, and it'll pull the whole thing down. See? And so this is her solution to making it look pretty. All you need to have is one block over each of those sections. So you, over here, you'll see that I designed it, and I made designed it to be perfectly symmetrical. Why did I make it be perfectly symmetrical? Come here. Come closer. I wanted it to be perfectly symmetrical. And I'll give you a good look at this if you just kind of want to stare at it. I can even turn shaders off. Ta-da! If that makes it easier for you to see. I have these components that will grab as many as they possibly can. And what you do is you just connect these together and have them so that they get pulled. And you combine as many of these together as you possibly can and have it so that they get pulled. And you combine them together as many as you possibly can. And it comes down like this. And so you have all of these individual pieces get pulled by these pieces. You'll see right here, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight of them. And then down here, we've grabbed several at a time. This grabs three, this grabs three, this grabs two, and this grabs two. And then down here, each of these three arms tries to grab all of those and pull them together into one little spot that has this elevator as its core function. So this can just pull them down. And so what we need to do is we need to tell them one layer at a time, starting at the top layer, from the bottom, we need this one to move up, and then this one to move up, and then this one to move up, and then the whole thing to move up. Um, one of the struggles we had was getting all of these observers to fire. Getting them right here was a bit of a trick because they would cause the pistons to be butted and cause them to fire, and it would put it in a bad state. You can come over here, and you can see right here. But um, we wanted to not do anything with this piston or any of these things. What we needed to do is we needed to put these uh, hoppers down because hoppers will let you spread the redstone dust around, but they act like clear blocks and don't send the signal. So why don't we watch it go up step by step together? So I'm going to use tick freeze. And now the game is frozen and going to stop. And if I hit this button here, you're going to see that this lights up. And after one tick, now, this is just because we need the 15 signal to come all the way through. This is really where it begins, and we just need all of these to fire at the same time. And so everything is within reach of this one and within reach of the other one. And so nothing is really happening yet. That's just so that the signal reaches. And so now what's going to happen is these come up like that. And then after three ticks, so this is to sync that up with these other two because they're adding delay. And so what we want is to add three on top of an additional one here. So this is just kind of to put it here. And so we put three ticks here. So here's two ticks. And I actually, because I need it to be closer so it can reach all the way around, I put one here and I put one here. So that's two plus one is three, and two plus one is three. 
And so now, as soon as it gets to three ticks, what's going to happen is all of these are going to fire. You see that? And the same process right here. We're going to leave this down and go one, two, and then three. And then after three ticks, all of these are going to fire. And obviously there's a one tick for every single observer at every level. But So we're not being literal. But... And there's a difference. And there's two game ticks as a redstone tick. So don't overthink it too closely. But the thing is, three redstone ticks is what I'm talking about. In between each layer. That's all you really need to know. And then it runs down, and then when it's ready, once everything else has been pushed up, and then we want those to come back down, then this will be able to push these up. And there it goes. And then we have lift off. Click unfreeze. And so you'll notice, because of the cycles of the pistons, they're actually moving at a different rate. Let's speed it up. Let's go tick rate 2. Click. And so this is how my elevators work, generally speaking. You have a bunch of individual layers, and they keep taking turns pushing each other. So when you bump the bottom, it hits the one above it and moves that one up, and then that one, and then that one. And so this one pushes, which pushes these, which is this one. Because every time you move all of the... Every time you push them all up, you're causing the um, observers to fire. Does that make sense? The observers are sending a signal every time they get moved. And that's what makes the elevator work. Let's, let's double time again, shall we? Oh, it's elegant. It's like a clock. It's like a well-wound clock. Have you ever seen a grandfather clock? A tourbillion go. Tick, 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 tick. Push, bump, bump. Yeah, so that's how it works. And here's the Lightmatica for you. There's a lot of slime blocks involved and a lot of honey blocks. Um, the redstone dust down at the bottom, there's a lot of. Um, the obsidian is completely optional. You can use white glazed terracotta. You can use any color glazed terracotta you want where I've used obsidian. Obsidian is just really nice for using in a pinch. But um, that's all there is to it. Um, I will send this out. Um, I'll probably make it available on my public Patreon. And um, that's all I got. Thanks to my patrons. Appreciate all you do. Um, don't be afraid to join our Discord server. Um, we've got a 4,000 subscriber special coming up very soon. Um, thanks to all of you. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.